What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hammerstein and today we're doing a speed RAM temperature at a Geekbench test between two flagship killers here in 2021. In the first corner here, we have the Realme GT and it's rocking the Snapdragon 888. And inside here, it does come with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. In the other corner here, we have one of my favorite flagship killers here in 2021 and this is the Poco F3. And inside here, you do have the Snapdragon 870, eight gigs of RAM, and 256 gigs of storage. So today, before we start anything, let's check out the temperatures. And in the room we are in, it is at about 27.3. Let's check out the phones over here. 34.8, 35.3. So a little bit of difference over here. Let's just boot these two phones up and see which one would start up faster. So normally, Xiaomi phones has a very good boot up over here. Usually it's very fast, but we have seen with the Realme GT that it has beaten even the Xiaomi Mi 11. So let's see over here if you can beat over here the Poco F3. And as you can see here, yes, with the Poco F3, with the Realme GT just right behind it. So like I was mentioning, both of these two phones have been charged up to 100%, but over here it has gone down to 99 over here on the Poco F3. Over here you have about 4500 milliamp battery, here you do have 4600 milliamps of battery. So in terms of the brightness over here, both of these two phones have already been set up. So in terms of the brightness of the screen, both of them have been maxed out and both are running at 120 hertz and also in terms of the connection both of them are connected to the same wi-fi network and also location is on every other form of connection is disabled on both of these two phones so let's check out the temperatures over here you get about 35.4 and here about 35.7 so pretty much the same on both of these two phones so let's check out the apps over here before we start this speed test and of course we are going to test this out before we do the ram test so one two three let's go Alright, looks like maybe okay, pretty much neck and neck on both of these two phones. Let's go to the next one here, Pokemon Go. Okay, let's see which one would kind of go faster. Looks like the Realme GT. And yes, the Realme GT is just slightly ahead of the Poco F3. Next up here, YouTube. Pretty much the same, I would say. Maybe the Realme GT, Instagram. All right, pretty much the same. A little bit slower here on the F3. Let's go to another big app here, which is PUBG Mobile. And let's see which one would start up faster. All right, looks like the GT is having a slight lead over here. And boom, you have it here on the Realme GT. And let's just give it some time on the Poco F3 and it's done over here. All right, let's go to the other app. And before we do that, let's check out the temperatures here. 36 degrees, here 36.2, so not much difference at all. Let's go to Chrome. About the same, let's go to Facebook again about the same let's go to Shopee I think on the Realme GT let's go to YouTube music on the F3 let's go to the settings I think on the GT let's go to Manchester United seasons coming back and looks like the GT was just slightly ahead of the Poco F3, next up here, Premier League. All right, okay, pretty much equal, I would say. Let's go to Netflix. Okay, pretty much similar again. Let's go to the camera app. All right, let's test out over here.
Okay, so I think it's about the same on both of these two phones. Let's go to TikTok. All right, about the same on both of these two phones. Let's go to Twitter. Again, about the same, I would say. Next up, let's go to the Play Store. All right, so pretty much the same on both of these two phones. So let's just check out the temperatures over here. 36.2. 36.5 so not much difference at all again and let's do a ram test over here a refresh over here let's check out a refresh here as well pretty disappointing from the realme gt let's go to pokemon go a refresh here again which is very disappointing and then let's go to pubg mobile all right this one is still pretty decent on both of these two phones and let's go on to like facebook all right no refreshes here let's go to instagram all right no refreshes here as well let's go to let's go to another one here premier league okay no refreshes and last one here twitter again no refreshes on both these two phones so yes in terms of the ram management i think it's pretty much the same and let's go on to the next test all right so now we're going to do a gpu test so both of them i'm going to export this at 4k i'm going to see which one would kind of uh, finish faster one two three let's go it looks like the f3 is just going way ahead of the realme gt over here And there we have it, the POCO F3 actually finishes faster compared to the Realme GT. So very impressive and also very surprising over here. All right, so next up here, we are going to do a Geekbench test and of course uh, disable all the apps behind as well, close up all the apps behind. Let's check out those temperatures over here, 36.4 and here 36.5. So let's open up this one over here, Snapdragon 870, 888. Battery wise, this has, is still at 99%, this one also at 99%. So let's run this test, one, two, three, let's go. And I'll see you guys at the halfway mark. Alright, so we're at the halfway mark and it seems like with the Realme GT, it's actually ahead of the Poco F3 and in terms of temperature, let's check out over here, 36.4, over here 36.6, so I'll see you guys at the end when we get the results. Okay, so looks like we are done here with the Realme GT and you're gonna get a good score over here, 1134 and a multi-core score, pretty disappointing over here. But if you look at the F3, in terms of the single core score is lower, but the multi-core score is higher. And in terms of the temperature over here on the Realme GT, it is a little bit much hotter compared to the Poco F3. So let's go back over here and we just do the compute test and let's see which one would win this battle. Okay, so with the Realme GT, we have finished over here while it's taking really quite some time over here on the Poco F3. Let's check out the temperatures over here. 41.2 at the end of this test. And let's check out the history when it comes to the scores. So as you can see here, in terms of the scores, they are pretty much very, very consistent. Of course, with the multi-core score, it has gone down quite a bit from our last test here with the Xiaomi Mi 11. And it's also, as you can see here, in terms of the multi-core score, it is declining, but in terms of the single core score, it's pretty much very equal. And over here, you get a good score as well, 3518. Let's check out the temperature over here, 36.9, much better in terms of the temperature management. So these are the comparisons that you can see over here. So you still get about less than 1000 on the F3, 
but the multi-core score is pretty much better compared to the Realme GT over here and in terms of the compute test it is just way ahead here on the Realme GT compared to the Poco F3 that's why this one took really fast and of course made the Poco F3 here very very slow so that is it if you guys did find this video helpful and also did enjoy this do click the like and smash that subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and also here on YouTube as Dr. Hammerstein so that is it this is Dr. Hammerstein stay safe take care and Wash those hands.